The almighty Blair Zon is in huge trouble after Aussie Media dropped an hour-long video detailing everything from start to finish. And this lawsuit, ladies and gentlemen, is far from over. But let's just say, as far as Illuminati is concerned, this is a lose-lose situation. So there I was, ladies and gentlemen, sitting at my desk, warming up for the day with a nice cup of coffee, and boom, Aussie Media. One hour long video. And when I saw it, I was like, damn, the day of reckoning has begun. Hopefully, she doesn't uh, send her army of Daleks to attack us. But in case you weren't aware, I recently uploaded a video on Illuminati going through the whole timeline and basically discussing why she's quit YouTube. And by the end of it, the very in-depth, detailed, complicated conclusion I came to is that she's just a massive coward. <laughs> but if you aren't aware of the ongoing lawsuit, you can just check out that video. She's basically filed a lawsuit against Aussie Media, Wonderstruck, and Felix the Kit Kat. Which I'm not really sure why she's filing a lawsuit against Felix the Kit Kat. She's apparently apparently claimed that Felix caused her emotional stress and damaged her reputation. He doesn't even have a big platform, all he really did was just help Click defend himself against Blair's attack. Felix the Kit Kat posted a screenshot of Blair saying she will pay him 200 bucks to dig up dirt on the Click, And she's apparently trying to sue him for breaching the NDA contract, but it's believed that the contract wasn't even in place at this point. But for her to target Felix the Kit Kat, I mean, you may as well just set up shop on top of Walmart and pick off innocent bystanders with a sniper rifle. And we're gonna touch on that a little bit later because Aussie Media actually spoke upon that in his video. But in my opinion, with Blair concerned, she's just power hungry and she loves to have an edge over people. And we've seen it from Click's Twitter thread. She just loves to use her platform to intimidate others. And I think we can all agree, ladies and gentlemen, that NDAs are just Blair's biggest wet dream. But anyway, on to Oz Media's video. So he uploaded a video titled Dear Illuminati. He also mentioned that he's got some sort of proposition for Blair, so we're going to check that out a little bit later in the video. But he mentioned that the purpose of this video is because he's starting up a second round of GoFundMe. Since he's apparently exhausted all the funds from the last GoFundMe on lawyers fees and stuff and he's actually posted receipts for this as well but I just wonder how much did he actually raise in the last GoFundMe? Whoa, 40k! 40 grand! That's a lot of money that is! Listen guys, uh, I forgot to mention I'm gonna need some donations from all of you. Uh, I've got an up-and-coming surgery involving my foot and a prosthetic toe. It's gonna cost about 15k so... Give you the money! But anyway, this was the description of his new GoFundMe. Round two this time. It's directly for all legal costs associated with taking on this lawsuit dropped upon myself, Felix, and possibly if served, Hi, I'm Wonder. This fund will be utilized to support all in this battle against Redacted. Last time she got my GoFundMe taken down for including her first name. More information can be found via YouTube, Aussie Media's official video titled Dear Illuminati. God, interesting how she got his last GoFundMe taken down. This cat just doesn't give up, does she? She's like a fucking cockroach that won't die. But I will indeed, ladies and gentlemen, link Aussie Media's GoFundMe in the description of this video. Is that okay to do that? Is that against YouTube Sims of Service? I don't think so. I think it should be fine. So go and check the description. The link to the GoFundMe will be there. With that said, I think we should take a look at this Aussie Media video and see what he has to say about Blair and see, you know, what's currently going on and where the lawsuit stands. So, so we'll definitely take a look at that. But firstly, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe because you know what, right? I want to reach 100K this year and we're so close, right? We're on 81K and we can get there by the end of this year, 100%. If we all band together like the Roman army, like the gladiators from somewhere. We can rise to make the Curtis Price channel unstoppable, so click the subscribe button, turn on bell notifications. Blair's lawsuit, in my opinion, relies on the misconstruing of facts and utilizes a personally curated timeline which she has constructed in order to gain the bare minimum standards of having this case proceed. Because I'm exhausted with the, in my opinion, legal shenanigans Blair is currently pulling, this video exists. We will be delving into that timeline and gutting it point by point as both her lawyers and judge seem to be fully unaware that I am not the real cause of her pain and misery. Blair is. Blair's actions are the reason we are here. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, I fully agree with Aussie Media. From what I've seen of Blair, she's 100% the cause of her own misery. Which is understandable, of course, because, you know, most narcissists do tend to hate themselves more than anybody else. You know, if I was someone who tried to dig up dirt on my old friends, if I was someone who was power hungry and needed to be a boss bitch as bad as I wanted to breathe. Jerry, if I was someone who ordered daily Amazon packages and never disposed of the empty boxes and made terrible financial decisions to the point where I'm knee deep in debt, yeah, I'd probably hate myself too. I think I'd be pretty, pretty miserable if you ask me. <laughs> what was she even ordering from Amazon every single day anyway? Probably robot parts to build a clone army. 
<laughs> or just multiple human-sized 3D printers to make copies of herself to take over the world. The Zon Destroyer. Even better, actually, she was 3D printing a new friend. She felt lonely. Blair claims Wonder and I had essentially masterminded her downfall. I didn't know about the threat until I received a now-deleted DM from Blair, asking me what she should do followed by several missed calls from her. Because Blair did not publicly provide a reason or explanation towards her actions, and with the emergence of H-Bomber Guy, Click, and Wonderstruck's threads, it left Twitter frenzied for answers. Those who were familiar with my connections to Blair, as it was public knowledge we were roommates, would begin to DM me or brigade my livestream chats with questions on the situation. Questions such as if I still supported Blair, and if I could provide a reason or explanation for her actions. It was because of users constantly asking me to answer on behalf of Blair, as well as my past colleagues, finally speaking out, that I broke my silence and posted my thread. Wow, guys, I mean, yeah, it must suck for Blair to know that if she'd just taken accountability, public accountability, maybe none of this would never have happened. Sucks to suck. But let's not forget how this happened. She, she jumped on Twitter and accused Legal Eagle, another YouTuber, of stealing her editing style. And that effect was the paper rip and also a stupid highlighter effect. Which, by the way, has been around way before Blair Zon's time. But after Legal Eagle debunked them, she just vanished. She was no longer on the attack and instead cowered like a mud crab burrowing into a sand tunnel. And I feel like because of her lack of accountability and her ignorance, thinking she can just bully anybody on the platform, this really led Click to come out and expose who she truly is. Which also led other members from the Sad Milk group to talk about their experiences also with Blair. But I find it really ironic, ladies and gentlemen, that after all this is said and done, she claims her reputation has been tarnished, it's been destroyed. But hang on a second, wasn't it you that took this drama from Twitter and posted a whole video on your YouTube channel discussing it? The tweets that were tweeted about her on Twitter was only seen by a small group of people in retrospect to the size of her channel. She was the one who decided to take this from Twitter to YouTube. She was the one who showed her entire audience who she actually is. She probably thought to herself, you're gonna try and expose me on Twitter? You're gonna try and expose who I really am, you filthy bitch? Well, I'm gonna go on YouTube and I'm gonna twist the narrative and weaponize my audience to attack you. Well, I'm lucky. It fucking backfired. But as Aussie Media said in his video, it wasn't until all the constant questions being thrown his way that he actually decided to speak out. And Aussie Media actually showed some text messages that he had with Blair after he posted his tweet. And you can just tell by her response, she's completely oblivious to the pain she might have caused people. Aussie Media said, Blair, I just want you to realize you've caused pain. You've caused me pain. I don't care about the drama. I just want you to realize how much you've hurt me. I've been doing my best to hold everything in for years now. And at this point, if you actually did read my thread, you would know what I want. Peace. I just want to be able to breathe. I have read that you want peace. I have acknowledged your needs and desires. You require peace. Bro, what if, what if she's not a real person? What if she's like Skynet? But this was apparently the last time that Aussie Media ever spoke to Blair since all the events took place. He then goes on to talk about the video she released, which I already mentioned it was all her choice to take these accusations to her platform. She didn't have to do that. She could have literally just responded on Twitter and just like held herself accountable. I understand that to a vast majority of you, this is obvious. But Blair attempts to paint her video as an attempt to de-escalate matters within the original filings of the lawsuit. Ironically, this factual allegation was later mysteriously removed in future amended versions of her legal complaint. 34. Regarding the false accusations listed above, Blair made one public post, attempting to debunk the misinformation. She has not publicly addressed the situation further in an attempt to de-escalate it. While I have my theories on why this was removed, the exact details are unknown. In her current complaint, there is currently no reference to her ever uploading this video or any of the public comments she's made, making it appear as though she never played in the mud. Well, that's interesting, actually, because I also have my own theories. I believe, in my opinion, the reason Blair removed that is to gain pity. As if she was the one that never antagonized anybody, just a peaceful, sentient being. <laughs> and may I just remind everyone one more time, the old members of Sad Milk Group, all they really did was just talk about their experiences being a part of that group and what it was like to be around Blair. But what was Blair's response, you might ask? To jump on YouTube, release a video, have a dedicated segment to Wonderstruck's mental health and a conversation she had with his therapist. Oh, let me, let me accuse him of mistreating his dog as well. <laughs> just gonna slide that one in there. 
Blair's on save the day. And that probably is one of the reasons why she removed this from her lawsuit. I mean, attempting to de-escalate the situation is... Is, is that what you call that? Accusing somebody of mistreating their dog and calling Click a paedophile? And yeah, that is de-escalating. Yeah, that's really making things a lot calmer than they were before. I wouldn't call it de-escalating. It's more like forcing somebody's hand to respond with a defense video in regards to your allegations. But ladies and gentlemen, she attempts to gain even more sympathy from the judge and victimize herself even further. I do want to briefly talk about a few details in the CPO ordered against me, which again was denied where Blair accuses me of beating her dog, Casper. I deeply cared for him, and I find this accusation thrown into a CPO for sympathy from the judge to be revolting. I also, in my personal opinion, believe that this is further evidence of Blair twisting and manipulating facts, or in some cases, just outright lying. How f***ing dare you accuse me of beating Casper after everything I did for you and him? Which, in your own video, Blair, you said it yourself. How much help I provided with Casper. Obviously, we cannot prove if this is true or not. It is just words being thrown on a document. So let's just say, for the case of this conversation, she's allegedly lying. To be honest, it wouldn't be a surprise. I mean, it's pretty wild to accuse Aussie media of abusing your dog. But didn't you also accuse Wonderstruck of mistreating his dog? Seems to be a pattern here involving dogs and mistreating them. Second of all, ladies and gentlemen, if Aussie media really did cause harm to Illuminati's dog, do you not think she would have brought this up in her expose video? So let me get this straight, Illuminati. You are going to include the bit where you accuse the click of letting pedophiles into his Discord server, but you're not going to include the bit about Aussie media and the dog. Some things are not adding up correctly. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here was the civil protections order that Blair filed. She requests all current posts to be deleted, but as well as that, to prevent any future posts being made about Blair. Aussie media claimed that this was her attempt to clear the runway and silence the critics in order to build off her own narrative, as well as her being able to go through with the lawsuit without any worry of public retaliation. I mean, she's just silencing everybody. She really does sound like a supervillain, doesn't she? She planned all this. I bet she's a schemer. You know, like Michael Schofield at the beginning of Prison Break when he's got all those papers all over the wall. I bet that's her right now in her lair. But obviously, this civil protection order was indeed declined, and if it had succeeded, she probably would have been able to spin her own narrative on the story. And in this next bit, I think Aussie Media does a good job at displaying Blair's need to be seen as the victim through the lawsuit with Felix the Kit Kat. As I mentioned earlier, Felix the Kit Kat was once an employee of Blair's, also a Discord moderator. He is the person that she paid 200 bucks to to dig up dirt on the click. Felix was a direct witness to what had transpired with Click. Felix, of his own volition, wanted to help set the record straight on information unrelated to the operations of Pyramid Entertainment LLC. Within Click's video, the final chapter includes screenshots from a redacted individual. This individual in question was Felix the Kit Kat. In these screenshots, Felix provides documentation of Blair offering him $200 to sift through prior Sad Milk recordings to find evidence of Click using the R word. These screenshots in question are what Blair is suing for defamation, as well as breach of contract. What is not included within this lawsuit, however, is the screenshot evidence provided by Felix of Blair owning the alt account that was created to harass Click as well as his cohorts in 2020. Take this information as you will. Blair is willing to sue over a DM showing her paying one of her, at the time, Discord moderators $200 to dig up dirt on a prior collaborator, but Blair is not suing about the disclosure of information about owning an alt account to harass other YouTubers. Take that as you will. Wow, isn't that something, eh? So you are gonna try and sue Felix the Kit Kat over him releasing the DMs of you trying to dig up dirt on the click, but you're not gonna try and sue him for the, the other DMs that he leaked of you pretending to be another person harassing other YouTubers. Well, that that is really interesting. I'm, I, I don't know what to think about that, no. What it seems like, Blair, is that you're avoiding anything that might make you look bad or can be used against you. She doesn't want to demonize herself. She doesn't want to show her true colors to the courtroom that she's a snake. That she likes sitting there talking shit about her friends on the internet. Oh, I mean, how sad is that? Comment down below, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? She's a little bit sneaky, isn't she? I told you she's a schemer. Also, Aussie Media confirmed in his video that the lawsuit filed against Felix the Kit Kat doesn't really make any sense. Because when these DMs between Felix the Kit Kat and Blair took place of them trying to dig up dirt on the click, he wasn't an official employee of Pyramid. Which, FYI, Pyramid is Blair's cooperation. But the best part about it is, even if he was an employee and he had signed an NDA, it 
still wouldn't matter. Because the NDA states that the individual is not allowed to discuss or release private confidential information regarding Pyramid, aka the Illuminati channel. But th this conversation is regarding Sad Milk. And Sad Milk is its own corporate entity. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that correctly. It's its own corporate entity under the name Wet Socks LLC. So to argue and file a lawsuit against Felix the Kit Kat for disclosing private information about Pyramid is completely wild. How does leaking DMs discussing Sad Milk, which is linked to Wet Sock LLC, have anything to do with Pyramid? <laughs> Am I going fucking crazy? If any argument were to be made about this being work contributed by Felix, the actions taken were not in service to Pyramid Entertainment, but instead Wet Socks LLC. However, there was no employment contract or NDA attached to these actions in service to Wet Socks. The files in question are related to old audio recordings of Sad Milk videos. And then he mentions that Blair successfully rewritten history and apparently the judge is not aware that Click made that video in a defense to her accusation. And Felix came to his aid with screenshots that the click would later go on to use in his defense video. So by everything we've reviewed so far, I'm guessing that Blair is just blatantly making it seem like people are just attacking her. Like making it seem as if Felix the Kit Kat was just out to get her and damage her reputation and cause her emotional stress. And it's clear that she loves manipulating narratives. This isn't the first time she did this. She did this in her video also, as I mentioned earlier. And I'm sure Aussie Media is absolutely exhausted, including every other party involved. He did go on to say that he's just had enough of this. Now the next bit is actually really sad on what Aussie media said. I'm not going to put it in this video because I feel like I'd be some, I know, I know he's publicly said it, but I feel like I'd be somehow like, I feel like I'd be imposing in a way, you know what I mean? So it's not for me to say, but go and check out his video. You know, it's not exactly great what he's been going through. It's really sad. And uh, like I said, his GoFundMe will be in the description so you can support him through the lawsuit. But he does indeed go on to say next, ladies and gentlemen, his proposition for Illuminati. And as they say, there's nothing like a deal with the devil. My settlement to you, Blair, would allow you to follow the morals that your channel has advocated for. Or in your words, be dedicated to upholding your channel's values and delivering on your commitments. When something as horrible as this happens, people always come out and admit fault and tell the horrifying truth of their continued negligence and malpractice, right? Yeah, you're right, that never happens. What am I thinking? Instead, they usually do their best to hide everything and blame anyone but themselves, and wouldn't you know it, that's exactly what happened here too. My settlement offer is for you to drop the lawsuit, for all parties involved, even wonder, with prejudice. I won't file counterclaims and would no longer be required to upload the second part to this video. And what do you get? A chance to prove your side of the story, or even take accountability for your actions. If you proceed with this lawsuit, by the time that it's done, especially with what's left of the judge's order, there would be no platform for you to return to. I'm offering you a chance to clear your name on a third party neutral platform. Think of it as a conversation. Rather than use the corporate tactic of bullying those who speak out against you, why not prove you're different from them? A lawsuit that will drag on for the next few years will not clear your name like you hope. If anything, it has only further damaged your reputation, Blair, especially because you're suing the two parties who have publicly said the least. And I know you know this. No PR firm in the world could save you if you continue this lawsuit. Even if you did win, from what I've seen, you would just be seen as a bully who abused the legal system. I mean, honestly, it's a pretty fair deal. I mean, Illuminati, it is a lose-lose situation, unfortunately. As Aussie Media said, even if you do win the lawsuit, your reputation is definitely not going to be restored. I think you've destroyed that a long, long time ago. So honestly, Blair would just take Aussie Media's deal, to be honest with you. It's a lose-lose situation either way for you. It's like Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, he became all powerful and everything, but he lost both of his legs. Comment down below, guys. Do you think Blair should accept the terms and conditions? I think she should. It'd save a lot of stress, to be honest with you. With that said, comment down below, ladies and gentlemen. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to get us to 100k. GoFundMe's in the description and check out these videos. They're pretty bad boy.